All right. <clears throat> so we're starting off as a mage arena. Um, a four, four on four that really basically doesn't have an upside. Isn't that good? Because in arena, we're still going to be trading at that point. So I'm going to go with a four, three that can at least trade up. Like it can trade for that four, four, for example. Uh, Flame Juggler is at premium two. So we'll take that. <clears throat> this one's tough. The Talistrider at least has some potential. I think. This is actually a tough choice. I think we're early enough in the draft that I can bet on some better fours, but the rest of these aren't really good either. Like, Arcane Missiles can be a good draw, but it's really un... Like, it's really unlikely, because even if it's just a 3-2 out, you still have to hit 2 out of 3, which isn't great. <clears throat> um, Water Elemental. That's easy. Water Elemental's fantastic. Uh, that's... Eh, I like Loot Hoarder for the draw, <clears throat> but Huge Toad is really good and historically overperforms. The tough one. Yeah, I have Arena Helper, but I almost, I rarely follow. Like I don't always follow it, and by that I mean more often than not I don't follow it. <sighs> yeah, I like the Toad for early control, but card draw is a good thing to have. I'll just hope I get an Arcane Intellect. Um, that's Ascendion. Ascendion's a good four. That's a Sorcerer's Apprentice. <laughs> Easy. Um, oh god, this is, see, this is a really hard choice. And see, like, here's a place where I don't agree with the tier list. They have Snow Chugger rated below Flame Juggler, and like, I don't know, Snow Juggler always seems to do better. Like, Flame Juggler is nice because it can be an early game answer and take out a turn one. But, um. <sighs> like, Mech Yeti's good, but we already have a couple fours, and I'd rather get my twos out of the way. Really, between Flame Juggler and Snow Chugger for me on this. Like, it's kind of early to be going all in on fours. Um, Snow Chugger is better late game, Flame Juggler is better earlier? Um, that's an Argent. Uh, God, probably... I don't know. All these suck because this one really doesn't work well with Mage. Molten Giant's really good when you're behind, but you don't really want to be behind. Mol Mountain Giant's right out. Mountain Giant's terrible. It manages to be a dead early drop and a dead late drop in Arena, so Mol Mountain Giant's awful. Um, Molten is better if you're in trouble. Ginny of Zephyrs for Mage just isn't good. I'm gonna go with Molten Giant. And again, that was against the recommendation. Um, this I'm okay with Stormwind. Stormwind's always good. The Molten Giant. Ah, oh, shit, I'm too late. Yeah. What were you going with? <laughs> I said take the Molten Giant. Oh, I did. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, cool. I don't know anything about this game. I just see something that has a really high mana count on it, and I'm like, yeah, that's the one. Molten Giant's weird because the whole point of Molten Giant is actually to make the mana cost really low. Because the yeah, ability that's is... all the giants work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one in particular yeah. is the amount of damage you've taken gets subtracted. So once you're at ten health, it's just free. Um, oh, sweet. Which is really good, especially if you're playing. There's a deck called Handlock where you just kind of don't do anything for a while and damage yourself and like it's it's weird, but it's incredibly effective and. Um, it works really well. Is that named after? Is that name named after Warlock, or do you lock your hands down? It, it's Warlock, but it's also the thing okay. is the whole point is for the first like three turns usually you're just drawing shit. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, you're just like, you just draw and get your hand as big as possible. Because you play Mountain Giant, the other one, the one that I was like, that sucks in Arena. Um, which is, it's cheaper for every card in your hand. So you can like always okay. play it turn four. Which is really good. Um, Torch is alright, but Evil Heckler is extremely good. But we don't really have any threes to speak of, so I'll probably go Torch. Uh, that's a Polymorph board. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh god. Second chugger. I'm getting a little high on low costs here, and Mirror Entity's great. Um, Lord Henry needs a good three. Dreader, okay. <laughs> it's a tiny Murloc, aw, oh, damn. No, that car is so bad. But it's free! <laughs> but it's so bad. There's a reason it's free, because it's so bad. But, well, it's not, it's not free because it takes up slot in your deck. Exactly, yeah, it's a card you draw yeah. that is in fact bad. Ardra Commander, okay, cool. Um, another Water Elemental, yeah. That is like one of the best fours in the game. And a five, which we need real bad. Um, God, Worgen Infiltrator, because the rest of these just aren't really relevant. Like, Maiden of the Lake is just, it's a really bad four drop, and we have really good four drops already. Yeah. Speaking of bad four drops. <laughs> Ugh. I think Effigy is better than Ancient Shade because people don't seem to play around Effigy so much. Uh, that Monty, seems sorry, yeah. Monty Berserker. Please give me some good high cost cards. I can't run a zoo deck again. <laughs> God. <laughs> Just not give me oh, anything wow. to work with here. Oh, jeez, another Spectral Knight, because my top end is non-existent. No Mission Venter, because I need draw. God, Where's the Deathwing? Another Where's Jaraxxus? Come on. Holy shit, these end offers have been really bad. Yeah, jeez. Like, I almost think I'm going to take a Mogor's Champion. I, am. I think I think I saw a lot of Murlocs, so I think I mean obviously you couldn't have known, but in retrospect, yeah. a Murloc deck would have been the way to go. I think. Mm. No, I always love when that happens. When you're just like, mm, this is really dumb, but like it might work. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, one of my best runs ever. I think it was my first twelve. Actually, was a uh, Demon Warlock deck. That I just went off the cuff <laughs> to just go entirely for. I was just like, I got like, I think it was like two Void Callers, like really early, like within my first five picks. And I was like, all right, Demon Deck, mm -hmm. fuck it, we're doing it. And then just drafted nothing but Demons. <laughs> and I ended up getting like four Sweet. Infernals, Flame Infernals, which just are like a 6-6 six, six for 6 that deals one to everything. And that was my deck. And the thing was, I kept calling them out for free, so I'd put down a four, they'd kill the four and pull out a six over and over. It was amazing. Um, oh wow. Yeah, I shuffle down everything just because I have so many threes and fours that I'll draw back into them and hopefully get a two. Never mind. Well, oh, <laughs> you got two of the same cards back. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. brutal. <laughs> Who shuffles these decks? And only one of those is a duplicate. Is the yeah. painful part. Uh... I should mention that I know next to nothing about Hearthstone. All I've ever done is every time there's a card back that I think looks cool, I play quickly play a couple matches to get to level 20 and then I quit again. Not the wrong way to play. <laughs> a lot of people do that. Yes, they'll, just, they'll play up to 20 every month. Like, that's totally yeah. fine. I just play Arena because I love Arena. <laughs> It's just in case, like, I ever get super into Hearthstone and then I don't have to look back thinking, oh man, I wish I'd played then and then for that card back. Uh, I got the pumpkin one, and it's really all I need. <laughs> I love pumpkin really back. Good. Yeah. Oh, man. See, it almost always Ooh. would be Chugger first, but, like, Sorcerer's Apprentice would give me... Uh, Chugger, Coin, Effigy, but I probably just want to Coin Shredder or Coin Water Elemental. Because Water Elemental is incredibly rude. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to 2 and then um, Coin 4. And then 4. Alright. I 
I mean, uh, even if you don't, you know, get your free arena or whatever, um, just take your quest and any of them you get that are a full, like a 40 cost that or 40 gold reward that you don't think you can just tear in half, just reshuffle it every day. Like if you want to be maximally efficient, you just <laughs> shuffle all 40s and if all you have left is a 40, you just hang on to it until you fill up with 40s, do your shuffle, and then, you know, do one of them just to get out of the way. But that's obviously a very silly way to do thing. Um, yeah, see, and then see. dust all your legendaries that aren't in modern in the modern uh, card uh, limit anymore. Yeah, that'll actually be pretty great <laughs> coming yeah. up here shortly. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to being able to dust all of Nox and GVG. Because that means I'll be able to make things, which will be great. Are right. they just like taking those out entirely? Um, I mean, you can play them in the wild format, but I um, mean, like the new limited. In limited, yeah, no, Nox and oh, uh, GVG are entirely out. Damn. Well, that's how rotating formats work. It's just yeah, you get rid of the old stuff. Yeah, I guess so. I just figured they would only like they would get rid of some or like some of it and keep some around, but. That would be more work than it's really worth, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, usually you won't vet st I mean, you keep all the basic and classic, that's just they're leaving it as a core set. Yeah, yeah I almost want to ping free Sorcerer's Apprentice. I think is actually the better choice here. Then that'll leave me with some weird options if uh, she lives. And yeah, Tavern Brawls, I guess you can use if you play Tavern Brawl. It's like, why? That's the game where that life changes every couple yeah. weeks, right? Yeah. It is almost always bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only ever kept up with one where it was like there were cards that had like 100 mana costs and stuff and it was really weird. Yeah, this Yeti... Job really well. Um... Unfortunately, I can't switch anything to make it live, so reversing switch is still null. Here, Entity, though, will leave me with board presence no matter what. He could play like a two first, but I mean, then he's got to play in a two and a four, which is <laughs> not great. That's the great thing about Mirror Entity is even if it's not a Mirror Entity, like, they still have to do something and, like, mess up their turn a little bit. Yeah. They still pulled off a really good turn, given. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, what's the best way to do this? Because I really want to play the Shredder, um, and what I'm going to do here, here's my weird, Ty Tuesday's weird play of the day. Wow. Um, I'm going to give this three attack, Northshire Cleric, um, right away. run it into this, see what comes out before I do. It's not bad, but that doesn't mean Shredder is forced to double trade, which I prefer. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's... Oh. Uh, that card is... Yes! <laughs> Suck uh, shit, wiener boy! <laughs> the light shall burn in the light's name. <laughs> Completely outskilled, my friend. Oh, uh, I mean, they're still winning right now. Like, this is still... Yeah. Their game is fantastic. Um, because I really still don't have any... Super great plays. I mean, mostly I'm just gonna 
plop down two huge threats. Like, the board presence thing isn't going to really help me too much here. Um, I kind of need to take out that Light Warden now as opposed to later. The only really bad thing. That Light Warden is looking to spiral, and I want to take this thing out first because they're just going to keep get to keep drawing cards, which is bad, <laughs> as it turns that is out. Next turn will be Doesn't turn matter what eight. card game it is. Doesn't matter what card game it is, having a lot of cards is bad. Ah, jeez. Yeah, that was the right time to have that, and they get the card draw. Yeah, this priest has actually managed to kind of pull a priest synergy-ish deck, <laughs> which is <laughs> very bad. Yeah, because they have yeah, priest Shire is one of the harder like, classes to play in the arena, right? Um, it just, yeah, there's a lot of things that can go very wrong. Uh, okay. As in, like, you can just end up not making a good priest deck very easily. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this turn is a Forgotten Torch on that, and an Effigy. Just keep board presence. Yeah, I mean, the Molten Giant's gonna be cheap at some point. <laughs> but uh I'm down like six cards. Something ridiculous. Frig. Oh damn. God damn it. <laughs> damn it, Ty Tuesday luck. <laughs> Yeah, Molten Giant Effigy is awesome because then it Molten Giant's Effigy into another Molten Giant, <laughs> which is <laughs> quite good. Uh, fuck off with your thank you getting a Captain's Parrot. Suck my wiener. Ugh. Goodbye, bird. Man, I double down for board presence because Mogur's champion is just too damn unreliable and too easy to trade with. Well, I think right now, uh, can Mogur's champion also attack face? Um, well, it's 50% chance to just do wrong, and yeah, I can hit face too. Okay. Alright, then yeah. And also, they just, the Dark Iron Dwarf is extremely good. And they're drawing more. Yeah, this is just this game is going poorly <laughs> for me. Um, I mean, now at least I have board presence. It's not great by any means. Cause like they, if they have any more attack buffs, or if they have another shadow where death, I'm just done. Do you have? I don't know. I don't remember what it's called, but there's a mage spell that like does a big AOE damage thing, Flame right? Strike. Do you have one of those? No, yeah. didn't get offered that or uh, a fireball. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when you get offered a mage with no fireballs and no flame strikes and like one frost bolt, but it was like clearly outclassed by the other pick, it's not generally. You're not set up for a good time. <laughs> it's not super good. And that's exactly what I mean by if he has anything. And he did have like 10 cards, or you know, like 7 cards yeah. or something. So like, it wasn't unlikely that he had some kind of answer. And now he's going to draw another card. So... He had 10 <laughs> cards and they were all zombie chow. <laughs> and then he plays an Akanai Soul Priest and somehow blows up his own zombie chows and murders me that way. That'd be a hell of a move. <laughs> Watch this, all three to my own face. Oh my god. No, but they hit none of the correct targets. Wow. Well, I'm rate, looking forward to the like cards getting cycled. The They're not being cycled from Arena, which I think is stupid, but no, Arena is still wild. So Arena will be every Wait. card forever, which I think is that's, bad. That's... But then it's only going to get harder and harder to craft a decent deck, right? Um, well, I mean, all the cards are, like, workable, is the thing. Like, the whole reason guess. you need that for Constructed is because Constructed, you can very easily, like, build something that's busted. Like a stupid-ass combo yeah. or something. Whereas Arena, it's just like, you get off at three things, you pick Do you want to try to risk some stupid, like, synergy? It's going to be hard. Like, you can try. It's going to be stupid and hard, but you can, you can fucking try, buddy. 
Also, they have a medium warden, which is really bad. But you do run into the trouble of every set releasing more low-level cards than high-level cards, right? So that means that arena draft is going to get stacked with you getting more lower-level cards. Arena, they have the some more... really weird algorithms that do stuff because they do bias like new set stuff. Okay. Like times three. Right. So like, there's biases. Also, holy fire! Well, fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, that seems really good for six. Jeez. Uh, the thing is, the it's five damage normally, and the restoring health to your hero is like more or less insignificant. That's true. All right, baby, yeah, here we come, free, free molten giant. Yeah, <laughs> here he is, the man of the hour. See, now the reason molten giant is exceedingly good in um <laughs> in uh constructed. Is because you can also put down like a taunt on it or use a shadow flame which destroys one of your minions But does that much its attack damage to everything So you put a molten oh, giant or mountain giant down for free and then shadow flame it and get an eight damage field wipe on your opponent Like real early for like all of like six mana or something. It's it's stupid good Or you get a taunt with that, but yeah has Molten Giant is Molten Giant getting removed from Limited or no? No, he's a basic or okay. classic. So. All right. Yeah, basic and classic. They're keeping in. Why are you saying thank you? Like you, I couldn't have done anything, man. You got a good deck going. Congrats. Like I'm just conceding because you're being a dick. <laughs> you don't <laughs> thank you when it's like clearly like my deck did really well. Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Molten Giant and Mountain Giant are things that are, like, possibly up for nerfs. Okay. Like, they're, that's the thing, is they do have to, um, they have to balance out, uh, classic and basic stuff. Just because otherwise yeah. there'll be, like, too many things for them to, like, construct around in, for, like, new cards. Whenever they make them, they have to, like, keep them in account. Um... Yeah, and no, there's a lot of cards that are, like, good in general. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. People are too worried about, the, like, the way Blizzard is handling it, other than, like, I would like to see um, a, like, a two types of arena. Like, I think that would be amazing. Yeah. Like, have there be, like, standard and wild arena. But I understand they can only have one because it's their paid format, so they can't have, like, two going around at the same time. I would prefer have seen a standard arena, but, like, I'm fine with wild arena. But as far as the standard and wild thing being separated, anyone who thinks that's a bad idea is just stupid. Like, I don't know how to put it any nicer than that. Like, they're just dumb and wrong. That's a thing that happens in every card game. It's an inevitability. You need to ban cards, restrict cards, or, like, rotate things. You can't have a card game go forever. Like... I looked it up and it was like 13,651 cards in Magic the Gathering or something. You can't construct around that. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and Arena like and Wild Arena. Right they, huh? they don't do limited. They just have... Yu-Gi-Oh! just has a ban list. Uh, so they don't do limited. They just ban cards that are really strong. And guess what? Yu-Gi-Oh! is fucking boring because of that. Because, like... There's a ton of, like, cards that are sort of broken, but not broken enough to ban, so you just get every single deck is just a one-turn KO deck built around drawing the right cards as fast as possible. Yeah. No, that's always what happens. Like, um, those are, like, the best decks always. Um, and that includes in, um, uh, in Magic, too. Like, that's why, um, one of their specific things is, like, for modern and standard and stuff, they very uh -huh. specifically say, they're like, okay, we just don't want anything that will, um, we don't want anything that allows a turn three or less kill. Yeah. Like, it's just, if you have that, it's just not fun to play. And they're right, I mean, it's like, if you, if you can get a kill too reliably on turn three, it means your opponent doesn't get to play. So it's like, just not fun. Oh god, this yeah. this chugger and this divine shield are doing so much work right now. <laughs> are, are you seeing this camera guy? Like, <laughs> holy shit. 
Have fun, Golden Hunter. Nice weapon, dipshit. Maybe you'll get to swing it this year. <laughs> and like, yeah, I'll just keep... Un like, my only concern now is... If they play a explosive trap, I could be in some trouble. I'm questioning the infiltrator, but this rushdown is kind of working out at this point. Oh man! Does he have two spells or just one? Oh no, is it an explosive trap? If so, then I'm kind of in, in problem town. Oh jeez. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I should attack it and see if it's explosive trap first. Or snake trap. Or whatever. Alright, well. Oh, what's the best way to test for this? I, I uneducated, uh, uneducated opinion is to just send the snow chugger in. Okay, so we have. If it's a bear trap and a snow chugger, I'll be able to, like, girl power kill it. Um. Dart trap I don't care about. Explosive trap would be bad. Freezing trap would just bounce it to my hand. Misdirection would make it attack the other one and kill it. Snipe would be on to play and snake. I'm just gonna say it's explosive. It's gotta be explosive or freezing. Okay, it's freezing. That is still extremely good for me because I can just uh put her power that away. And sorcerer's apprentice and go face. Nice. Yeah, there's. That's kind of the way. Um, one of the hard parts about traps, and the reason people always complain they're overpowered, <laughs> is because you have to think a lot <laughs> when yeah, someone plays them. You have them. to play around so much. Oh, beans. Man, all these legendaries getting offered. I ain't getting <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it's pissed. I think this is just a Spectral Knight pass. I mean, I don't know what else. Yeah, because other than that, it's like Gnomish Inventor and River Croc, but that does one, so he can hit with face. Like, oh god! Man, like, the problem I have with this mage that I got, there is just not enough damage overall. Yeah. Um, for my mage, I mean. For, for, like, the cards I drew. Right. Um, and then I need to ping this away. And then I have five mana left. Dungeon survives longer. This trades with both, though. He could weapon slime it. Whereas this would require... Minion and weapon, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm not down on card draw yet, so I'd rather try and keep. I mean, does your four mana snow chugger count as a card? It's a very low priority. <laughs> because it's super <laughs> off curve. Um, um, as far as uh, Little Cackles in chat said, I wish uh, you could hover over a secret and see all the ones that class has. If you run like a Hearthstone Arena Helper or something, you can. That's what I use. So that mm. I can see everything they have and the conditions for them, more importantly. Also, damn, that was good as hell for them. Does that let them use their stupid elephant this turn? Oh, and a turn damage, that's right. God, I really need to make that thing die. Um, Not with that card. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's the problem. Hmm. Let me see what I draw. Probably the Amani, and then... Thing is, this gets a way better trade with the Amani, but this also means he can play something and use it immediately. Both are kinda dangerous. Especially because he's gonna trade them in, because they die at the end of his turn. So... Yeah. 
I'm almost to the point of letting him take the good trades and pinging this. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. If he wants to go for face, he can go for face and pay for it with a free Molten Giant uh, and a Stormwind. If he goes for oh, the yeah. trades, which would be the smart move, um, then I'll just be able to ping that thing away next turn, which will be exceedingly good. That is ridiculously good for him. That is an insanely good draw. Because that'll kill both of my things at the end of turn. Oh, and he put out a secret. Oh, this blows. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Avenge is still a card, but Avenge also is getting downplayed pretty hard. Um, the question is, hey, what do I do here? Do I really want to ping this, of all things? And I'm doing that first, <laughs> just to make sure I don't not do it. I have six mana left. One of those is going to Effigy. Um, I should have played around the snipe, but I had the effigy, so I don't really give a shit if he kills it. I shouldn't have played the river croc. That's dumb. We can trade for that, and then I'll just get another two. I should have waited. Well, part of these disgusting decks is I played two goldens in a row, which are, like, notoriously gross. Like, gold players are just... They usually are taking it too seriously. <laughs> Not even taking it too seriously, just like... I don't know, I mean, they've played a lot, first of all, and second of all, yeah, a lot of them do... Just pick optimum decks. They probably have, like, three different deck drafting programs open at the same time. <laughs> making sure all the numbers line up. God damn! Well, the good news is I don't have to give him this for free. Unless it's Snake Trap. Are you serious right now? Oh, it's Freezing Trap. That's fine, actually. Freezing huh? Trap is whatever because it's going to cost three when I put it back down. <laughs> <laughs> And a Violet Teacher into Sun Fury, I guess. So the good news is I'm not down that much on health. I'm not down that much on board presence. I'm not down that much on much of anything. Like, this looks way worse than it is. Yeah. So, like... I okay have a pretty strong hand right now. Yeah, and I have a lot of stuff. Let's see where Flame Juggler hits. If it goes for the Anoyatron, no, of course not. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think <laughs> my play is still mostly the same, because their hand is empty. So, like, I kind of don't care. <laughs> this helped me push lethal. Not really, no. Um, I'll just make that a 2 2 so that it still trades with the Snow Chugger. Basically, I'm trying to give them nothing for free. I'll keep Water Elemental back just in case they pull off some miracle ass board white bullshit. <laughs> wow! Does Hunter even have good board? Wow. That is about the second. Oh my second. god. This is, yeah. Okay. There are a couple cards I could draw into that would be lethal. And I have two turns to do it. Right, well, you're doing lethal here. right now, don't you? No, because he has a taunt in the way. So I have 11 oh, right, damage. Yeah. yeah, I have 11 damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, let me do it this way. And then what is the saddest shit on the planet? I have to... Mm. <laughs> mm. I hate everything about this. Alright, 3 health to 3 health, but I have a mirror entity, baby. If you'd ping the Anoyatron, I'd have lethal this turn. How? It was alive. It had two health. Ping is only one. 
I still would have had to attack. No, I wouldn't have had lethal this turn. You're wrong. <laughs> There's... Well, you did it. You beat the gold dude. Oh, if I would have pinged two turns? Oh, so if I would have done something two different turns ago and managed to get both... Fuck off! <laughs> get out of here. Plus, didn't I ping yeah. off the shield? Uh... No, I don't think so. I think if you, you call um, lethal and it isn't lethal, that's not just a regular timeout. That's like a one-day timeout at least. <laughs> that's a lethal timeout. Yeah, I did plink the shield. Double fuck off. You weren't even watching. <laughs> <laughs> Add another day to that. Oh, I plinked the Sun Fury. Okay, yeah, because I didn't want to get a free trade. Yeah. drives me crazy. <laughs> you could have pinged it and got lethal this turn. No. You would have had to ping it two turns ago. Well, how the fuck would I have known? <laughs> oh, if you had done the thing in World War One, you could have prevented World War Two, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this hand sucks, but I kind of love it. Because it's just <laughs> super assholey. God, yeah, it's so funny, I don't care. Like, this is terrible, because I just remembered I don't have the coin either. Oh, God, this is bad. <laughs> and then you're gonna get, like, two river crocolisks or something lame. No, I'm gonna keep drawing the top of my deck. Which is extremely oh. good and cool. <laughs> that is the kind of thing I like. I live... To keep well, at least they didn't have a turn two either. <laughs> Good, and I bet they know wow. it's a they're gonna play around Mirror Entity, but like apparently they have to play turn three. Yeah, I'm looking at my percentage of deck, and I have gotten uh, like all the top cards basically. <laughs> the only one I have left is I have an Argent Commander at six and a Captured Jorgenmonger at seven. And other than that, I guess Molten Giant, if you call that. That's unfortunate. Uh, but luckily, answered very nicely by this. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that usage of coin. It was weird. Uh, they were playing a little hard around the mirror entity for this early in the game, I think. Yeah. Like, just my hot take. That was a little much. For a mere entity. Especially for one that wasn't even that good when it was the only thing on the field. That was also weird. Hmm. I think I just Spectral Knight and just keep board presence. Just get total board dominance. Yeah. The thing is, like, they can they can just ping for this, so I kind of want to just make the trade anyway. I'm going to. It doesn't feel good, but it's the right thing. Yeah, coin loses value if you hold it too long, but I mean, that means, like, turn eight. That doesn't mean turn, like, two. <laughs> yeah. It's so good on, like, turn four. Yeah. Oh god, it's amazing turn three. In turn four, it's really good. Turn five, it's fantastic. Turn six, it's incredible, because there's so many good sevens. And if you have a, what's it called, North Sea Kraken, it can be good the whole game. Yeah. This sucks because that card is actually pretty good for for mage, and I'd like to get rid of it. But I don't even have that many answers in my deck.
that way it just trades poorly. That's all I can really do. They can ping it and give me nine to the face, which sucks, but... I mean, you can still coin turn 10. It just refills one of your things. Like, if you cast something in coin, it'll give you the mana back. You get one more mana. Really I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. This is less than good because I don't get the uh, upside of the spider. Oh. But I have a lot of three attack stuff, which is fine for clearing. Um, if we're talking about pulls for Puzzles and Dragons real quick, because we always are, I'll just say one really quick that's hilarious to me. Um, so I did it on, on the toilet, as is tradition. Um, and I pulled my I pulled my fourth Light Collie. <laughs> my fourth Light Collie, which is a card that is notoriously hard to get and rare. Nice. And I have pulled my, or it was my third. My third El Kali, which is, like, useless, though. That's, like, too many. That's too many El Kalis for uh, any <laughs> use. <laughs> like, they finally are adding in something that I can use for it. I just need to wait until I can buy a Raw Dragon, basically. <laughs> because then I'll have a Raw Dragon that I'll give the skill of El Kali, which is the best skill in the game for Raw Dragon. It just means you get to use his skill for free. Um... And I'll get that, and, and then after that, I'll put that skill on a raw dragon, and then have two Alkali. So then I have raw dragon with Alkali skill, and then two Alkali. So I have three Alkali skills, which is extremely good and cool. Um, <laughs> it's just a bit much, is the problem. All right, worst card in my hand is you, and it's not that. Okay, it is. It's just very slow. Um, and Shredder. And we're far enough in, I hope Grumpy Kitten doesn't have the, uh, the Flame Strike. No, Rot Dragon goes fine with Light Collie. Like, five is more than enough for, like, almost all. Like, I don't think there are any active skills that I can think of, at least, that make every color. Like, I can't think of any that exist that make every color. Uh, this is weird, because I kind of want... Hmm. Oh, that could be just good there. Really? Wow. <laughs> That's a well played just for being oddly specific. Not for like you did anything great, just more like, well that happened. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, like Dark Cali, I think is yeah, five color alchemy is fine though. Anyone hey, if saying, you can get uh, you can get perfect hits on the Mad Bomber, then you have lethal next turn. Yeah, that's that's really unlikely given that I have five targets and they have two. Oh right, it can hit your targets as well. I forgot about yeah, that. <laughs> that's that's the downside of Mad Bomber when you have field advantage like a lot. It's less extremely <laughs> good. Wow. Um, this is fine though, I'm still just gonna push board control and Mogar's Champion and Snow Chugger because Mogar's Champion is incredibly frightening, especially if you have nothing to protect your face. It turns out if there's only one target, the wrong target is also the correct target. So <laughs> you don't want that to happen. And if he doesn't re remove Mogar, uh, it doesn't matter um, what he plays there's a really high chance of lethal. Like, right now, I can guarantee it. That basically prevents me from guaranteeing it. <laughs> that was the whole point of him playing that, and it was correct. All right, now the question is what? 
I can remove two targets and give myself a 50%. Oh, I had lethal. Never mind. I'm stupid. I had lethal. Oops. I'm really stupid. I don't really care that much. Uh, <laughs> well. Wait, don't, don't you still have lethal? Oh, but he has a 50% chance to hit the wrong target. Oh, right. Right, right. Mm hmm. Yeah, I could have just gone three, three, two, eight, and then, or three, 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 two, and then ping. Whatever. <laughs> if I lose this game, then it matters huge. Actually, Vickis linked a really interesting article about oh, wait, this. You can, you can ping the spider. Oh. Wouldn't that have been better? Uh, I wouldn't have been able to take out the 6-6. Uh, six, six. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Vic has link linked a really... Oh, okay, people are saying, you still have lethal? No, because I don't have... Mogor. Murloc into the six... Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Either way, there was a really good article uh, written about how the things that chat loves to call out um, very rarely matter. There, It's the yeah. difference between... Um, like obvious small mistakes and um, really big mistakes that are hard to tell because they're long term that aren't easy to see. Like uh, pro players make those mistakes because they're thinking about the long term game so much. Where is it at? Sorry, I posted. We posted a lot of DDR music yesterday when we were losing our shit and watching Mandel Bro sets. <laughs> uh, where is it? Misplaying for profit. That's the name of the article. And it was by ADWCTA Merps, who has played more Hearthstone than anyone who exists. <laughs> Is that a fact? Uh, it's either him or, or Kraparian. <laughs> it's either him or Kraparian. Right. And I would say, what, as far as people who speak English and play, probably a fact. People who stream, at least. Perfect. I can't think of anyone who plays more than those two. Like, even close. Like Mogor, he's a 50-50 shot. Uh, they are also the two people who ran Hearth Arena before they got screwed over. So they know more about the game as far as, like, Arena than probably anyone else, other than maybe, um, uh, Hafu. She's ridiculous as well. Okay. Man, I'm looking at your deck, and there's so many cards in here that we haven't even seen yet. Yeah. Like, I've had Flame really... Juggler and Huge Toad? I didn't even know you had those cards. I've had really strangely, oddly specific, the same draws. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I guess you had Flame Juggler once, actually. I'm gonna pull one video up and do a thing Loon and I were talking about for the next game. We'll need to mute this video. And... Maybe full screen? Full screening, it might be a bit much, because then I won't be able to see... anything. <laughs> I will be made... <laughs> I will be rendered blind by it. Person does the thing where there's a five minute outro to their music. I'm gonna split recording so I can use the bathroom and then set this up.